So many unanswered questions remain in the death of Priscilla Slater while in custody of Harper Woods Police, but a few uh, new eyewitness account rather of what happened before and during her arrest supports the notion that officers did not harm Slater when they first encountered her. Local four defender Sean Lay continuing our investigation of this incident from the motel where it all started. Sean. Tonight, an eyewitness coming forward to the defenders to describe exactly why Harper Woods police came here to the Park Crest Motel last week and had contact with Priscilla Slater. And yes, he does confirm that Priscilla Slater was treated roughly, not by the police. He says by the man she was with. She couldn't even stand up on her feet by herself before the police even came. He's talking about 38 year old Priscilla Slater. He tells the defenders he watched Slater and Lewis Nichols return to the Park Crest Motel last Wednesday. The defenders are protecting his identity for his own safety. He's a key witness who says Lewis suddenly opened fire at the motel. He shot like boom, 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 boom. 19 shots in all, some fired into a room with a mom and baby inside. In a frantic effort to get away, he says Nichols pushed Slater to the ground and she couldn't get up. He knocked her over on the ground and she was still laying right there on the ground like she barely couldn't get up. He was trying to drag her to get her to come on. Like, let's go, let's go. Harper Woods police arrived, eventually finding Nichols and Slater asleep in a vehicle. The witness says both were arrested without incident. Eleven and a half hours later, Slater was found unresponsive in a holding cell at the Harper Woods Public Safety Department. Six employees in charge of checking on her have been suspended. Did they follow proper procedures in evaluating Slater's condition? Did they check on her every 30 minutes? Question still under investigation. The witness says he knows the first contact with police at the motel was by the book. I know for a fact that went the police for. Keep in mind the cause of death and toxicology not yet back in this case. It's only going to tell half of the story. The other half is under investigation by the Michigan State Police that if a lifeless Priscilla Slater was in a holding cell here, did anyone at the Public Safety Department do anything to check on her or try to help her? In Harper Woods tonight, Sean Lake, Local 4 Defenders.